Hi guys, it's Sandy and I'm here in the dog park with the puppies and it's such a beautiful day but I thought I'd just stop in to say thank you and add this little piece to the video for today. Thank you for your prayers last weekend for my workshop that I taught at my church. It went really well. I did not freak out. It, I was very calm the whole time which was great and even while I was talking I was so excited and so passionate about it that I didn't stop to ask if anybody had any questions for about an hour and a half. <laughs> so I have some great ideas on how to revamp the class for the future to teach it again. Speaking of which, if you're interested in bringing seeing the scriptures to your church, to a retreat or a conference or something, uh, let's talk about that. I'm not ready to do it quite yet because I've got a lot of things on my plate right now, but maybe later in the summer or in the fall, it would be kind of fun to go out and meet some people and talk about the scriptures. The in-person class is a little bit different in that it doesn't address just Bible journaling. It's going to talk about all kinds of artwork that you can do in all different kinds of mediums. So it would be open to more than just Bible journalers at your church. And it's also more interactive because we have people there and we're going to do exercises together as groups and then as the whole class trying to, to do some of the scriptures together the way that we do in the Seeing the Scriptures online class. So let me know if you're interested in that. Talk to your church and see if there's an event coming up that you need a speaker for because I would love to see you. And now I'm going to turn it over to Studio Me to talk about this week's Bible journaling. All right, we are back in the studio for the flip through of week three of the Journey Through Lent. And if you've missed out, you can see the last couple of videos to catch up. And in Psalm 2, there was a verse that talked about God laughing, <laughs> the one enthroned in heaven laughs, and he chuckles at my plans all the time. So that was just a little reminder that he gets a kick out of that when I tell him I know what to do. Then we had the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. So I did some interesting lettering and used a stone to create the stone itself. And then I added the building on top. And don't judge a rock by its shape. Don't judge a book by its cover. Jesus was judged for being a humble carpenter, and yet he was the cornerstone. And here was a psalm in Psalm 69 that had a whole bunch of verses about other people saying things about you and really losing your identity in Christ. And then a lot of the other verses in the chapter talked about who you are in Christ and who I am and I made name tags with child of God, saved by Jesus, girl who praises God, protected child, one who loves God, just to remember who I am. Then we had this psalm, which started out with, boy, God, go get my enemies, go nail them, one after the other, all these different things, go, go tell them what to do. And I want God to do the justice, not me. Even if I advise him on what I think he should do, I want him to determine what justice is because I'm going to be faulty when I do it. And I want him to right the wrongs, not me, both for other people and for myself. And that was a harsh reminder. And here was another harsh one with the, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me verse, which was just, it's always painful to think about that one and Jesus saying it. And I included the nails in this. I've got a magnet that is a reminder to stick to God's plan, even if it's got nails in it, even if it's hard, because Jesus did. He read all these scriptures. He studied these scriptures as, as a child. He knew what was coming, and yet he stuck to the plan anyway. And then we got to this one where <laughs> I don't know why I did like a weather forecast kind of graphic for it, but there were three sections to it. And the devotional talked about how the first part was about the past and what God has done in the past. He shook the earth, made the rain fall, brought the bounty, and those sorts of things. Then today, what he's doing now, God speaks, he, he provides the word. Um, the resting in peace was all about, uh, there was a sheep pen involved in there. And the the strife ended, I'm, I was trying to figure out what the scattering of the kings meant, but I thought, if the kings are scattered, then there's no more war. So maybe that's what that is all about. Uh, then we get to eternity when he takes his people to the mountain and it's the mountain upon which he reigns. And then there were, there was talk of gifts of, of our praise. So that's what we will be bringing him in eternity. And that is the pages for this week. Now I've added them to a pin board because I know some of you have said that you don't do Facebook, so you can't join the Facebook group. 
but you could do it on Pinterest. You can join me on Instagram as well, but they're on Pinterest. I am going to add descriptions to each one right now. They just have a little short description on there, but I'll be adding the rest of them to that pin board as I go. And I'm also putting a link in the description to Pinterest as well as to my pastor's sermon from this weekend, because it's kind of a preview of Easter. We're talking about going to the empty grave and there was some really interesting stuff in there. I wanted you guys to have the opportunity to listen to. So links are in the description for all that stuff. And I will see you again next week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Join in the Bible journaling if you can. There's a link to the prompts that are down in the description as well. And have a great week. God bless you. Bye-bye.